welcome back to English with Amrita. I'm excited today because I'm going to share 15 idioms with you which you can use in your everyday life and replace the normal or regular English sentences that you speak. These idioms or advanced phrases make you sound better than a normal or a general English speaker. I'm not saying replace everything with these idioms but when you start using these advanced phrases or idioms, your speech sounds better than the normal speech. We are not going to waste a lot of time, but just a request, if you are new to my channel, please check out some of my other videos. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the small bell icon. Also, if you want to register for online spoken English classes, then you can contact me on my website www.englishwithamrita.com. Now let's get going with today's video. The first idiom that I have for you is ring a bell. Well, if you're not able to see or if this is not visible, that is okay because I am going to provide everything to you in writing as well, right? During editing of this video. So the first idiom that we have is ring a bell. When someone says that, hey, have you read Sydney Sheldon? And you have heard about the name Sydney Sheldon, but you do not exactly recollect what that is. That is when you can say, hmm, sounds familiar. It does ring a bell. Which means, when something sounds familiar but you're not able to recollect what it is, you can say, that rings a bell. Which means, there's something in it that I'm able to recollect, but not exactly. It's something that's close to. The next idiom that we have is, on the tip of your tongue. When something is on the tip of your tongue, you are just about to say it. It is just at the top of your mind, but you do not know what it is. For example, the other day I met Ryan in the mall and you will not believe I was just not able to recollect his name. I couldn't greet him taking his name. So his name was just at the tip of my tongue but I chose not to say anything because I didn't recollect his real name or I wasn't 100% sure that this is his name. So it was just at the tip of my tongue, but I couldn't recollect. The third idiom that we have is not an idiom, but a way of saying something in a stylish manner. For example, someone says, Amrita, are you going to be available from 4 to 5 p.m. tomorrow for an important meeting? And you say, well, I think 4.30 would be preferable. 4-ish, I'm going to be in another meeting. So when you say 4-ish, that's an approximate time that you're giving rather than an exact time, which is 4 o'clock. So 4-ish, which means around 4 o'clock, I'm going to be in another meeting. So if we can reschedule this meeting to 4.30, that would be preferable. Let's look at the next one, which is big deal. Big deal is when you say that something means a lot to you and this one has two different meanings and can be used in two different ways. The first one is when you truly mean that something is a huge thing for you. For example, gifting my parents on their birthdays and anniversaries is a big deal for me. If I don't gift them anything, I feel guilty, right? And another meaning of it is when you say something in, in a sarcastic tone. For example, your girlfriend keeps complaining that I have to walk 10 minutes to my office every day and I get so tired. Now, well, for you, 10 minutes is not a big deal. And you can respond to her in a sarcastic tone saying, 10 minutes of walk to the office, big deal. Which means you're just trying to crack a joke or make fun of the things that she thinks are really important for her but according to you that those are not important because 10 minutes is not a long time to walk. The next one is let the cat out of the bag. When you let the cat out of the bag, the way you can remember this idiom is by thinking that you removed something that was not supposed to be removed which means you revealed a secret that somebody told you. Let's say a friend of yours plans a birthday party for one of your group or gang members 
and you are the one who cannot digest a lot of information you are the one who just wants to you know reveal all kinds of information and you exactly tell about the surprise birthday party to the birthday person himself that's when your friends can say oh amrita just let the cat out of the bag there's no way by which we can trust her or there's no way by which amrita can keep secrets or surprises to herself so when you cannot keep something to yourself that's when you let the cat out of the bag you reveal all kinds of secrets the next one the more the merrier now again taking the same situation you've arranged a birthday party for your friend and one of your friends in the gang says i also want to invite my brother and my sister who are almost of the same age and you all are, you all are like yes of course why not let's have more people in the party and we'll have more fun right because we are just five of us if there if there will be more people it will be fun so you can say yes of course the more the merrier that means the more the number of people the merrier it will be give it your all give it your all means when you give or put in a lot of hard work and effort you don't leave any stones unturned which means there is nothing that you do not do you put in 100% in fact 200% effort towards something for example uh, during my board exams i gave it my all and hence i came out with flying colors that means hence i scored good marks or good percentage in my board exams because i gave it my all i worked really hard and i was completely focused and put in my 200% towards the exam so i gave it my all pull someone's leg we say pull someone's leg when we are trying to joke around for example someone cracks a joke on me and i know that that person is trying to crack a joke on me so i'll say oh you're trying to pull my leg aren't you that means you're trying to crack a joke on me right so the next time somebody says that you're trying to crack a joke you can say yeah i was just pulling your leg don't mind some people have the habit of minding right they feel bad or they feel offended when we crack jokes on them at such times you can you know try and control the situation by saying hey please take it on a lighter note i was just trying to pull your leg please don't mind bear in mind bear in mind is when you have to keep something in your mind or remember it which means you don't have to forget it for example you have a class test which is a surprise test and the professor says to you bear in mind that this test is supposed to be completed in 30 minutes sharp no one will get an extra minute that's when the professor says that remember that this test is for 30 minutes only if i see anyone scribbling or writing anything after 30 minutes are over the student or the paper will be thrown away right so we will not be taking that paper that means remember it carefully bear in bear in mind keep it in your mind just my luck well this is a phrase that you can say when you feel that you are one of the unlucky persons that you know or you are that unlucky chap for example uh, you working from home currently and tomorrow your boss invites you to work for some important meetings and that's when it starts raining heavily it's impossible for you to get to work and the boss is also in no state of mind to understand or take your excuses that's when you can say just my luck that means so many days it wasn't raining the skies were clear and just today when i have to go to office when i have to report to my work it has started raining heavily and i'm not going to be able to make it to work on time or make it to the meeting on time that's when you can say to yourself just my luck which means i'm really unlucky slip your mind when something slips your mind it goes out of your mind simple right instead of saying i forgot you can say i'm sorry it just slipped my mind 
your boss gives you an important assignment or says something to you that is a petty thing but it's important for you to remember it because your boss has given that duty to you and you forget it you can say i'm sorry or i apologize it slipped my mind somehow that means i just forgot i'm sorry for it make my day when something or someone makes your day they make your day feel they make you feel very special and this is quite true on our birthdays right we get a lot of gifts but think about that one gift that you loved dearly or let's say on your birthday you think of donating some cash to the underprivileged children around your society and from all the gifts that you got from your friends this moment of gifting someone who is impoverished made you so happy and made you so satisfied and content content that's when you can say it just made my day um donating my cash or donating donating my old clothes made my day which means it made me feel so special and happy get a kick out of something when you get a kick out of something that thing excites you a lot for example it could be a habit or it could be something that you love doing in your free time a lot of boys love playing cricket right or they love playing sports so when your mood is dull and you want to feel refreshed and you want to get that feeling of rejuvenation that's when you tend to move towards sports or some physical activity so you can say that cricket gives me a kick whenever i'm down or i'm feeling sad about something or i'm overthinking i hold my bat go on the playing ground and i just start you know playing cricket so it gives me a kick for me personally i like reading a lot but i don't find so much time but when i start reading i enjoy doing it and hence reading gives me a kick or i get kick out of reading catch somebody's eye when you catch somebody's eye you grab their attention in simple terms right so instead of saying uh it was quite attention seeking you can say that caught my eye right i saw an advertisement on the billboard and it was huge the billboard was huge and there was a bollywood celebrity holding that product in his hands and that ad just caught my eye it was attention grabbing the last idiom that we have is in a bind when you're in a bind you're in a difficult situation for example tomorrow you have two important commitments and you need to finish or meet both of those things and they're almost scheduled at the same time so now you are in a difficult situation because you do not know which one to give priority to both the things are important for example maybe something that's in your professional life along with your personal life you have a date with the girl you love and at the same time your boss has called an urgent meeting tomorrow at the same time in the evening that's when you can say i'm in a bind i have no idea how i'm going to manage tomorrow stay because both these things are equally important and i have no i'm not able to find a way out i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned some of the idioms that you can apply in your everyday conversation to make your english language sound and look more flowery and more vibrant if you like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel also if you haven't ever visited my instagram page i think you should because we post every single day on instagram and every single day there is something to learn from english with amrita's instagram page or youtube channels we also have hindi channels that we recently opened so you can check those out too until i see you next bye